Welcome back, Internet, and sorry for the delay between episodes. Wesley has mainly been working on the wiring and fuel line runs while I've been working on getting the new emblems installed. Um, looks like I may have lost a little footage of the original fuel line runs, so the next episode may seem like it has skipped a bit. Sorry again, a little bummed about it right now, but we will keep at it and try to keep producing content for you guys. Mainly today, just some short clips of me working with the emblems and Wes and I working on the fire, final wiring of the fuel pump hanger at the end. So I hope you guys enjoy. These front and back emblems are stuck on really well. Uh, the gap is super small between the body and the emblem as well, so I can't really get this tool in here, which is this other small blue tool that I'm using. Um, very small wedge tool from a PC kit, basically, that then allows me to fit the larger yellow piece in there, and then it's just a prying game after that. Overall, I'm really happy with the look of these new emblems. Um, I think they really make the front and rear pop a little bit more with the red instead of the, the white and the chrome. I attempted to heat this again and peel it off, which honestly not worth the struggle when you have the rubber wheel. Huge shout out to Tyler Gibson for the re recommendation on that. This thing works fantastic. Down, like invert this grommet and hold it down like that. I'll try and tape it, but it just literally pops right oh, back yeah. up as soon as you let go of it. This is much easier. I can definitely hold it like this for you. Thank you. 
try to get it around the wire down there a little bit. Just a tight squeeze here. Yeah. You need me to move yeah, my hand or you good? good? Okay. I got it a little bit. Good deal. You got your drill still? Yep, I saw it. Work on that. I'll grab you a little wire brush. Okay. It's pretty uh, sharpish. Yep, I got some gloves over here on the ground. There's some new ones behind you over oh, there, too. Um, Matco gloves are yours, aren't they? Probably. Most likely. You missing a pair? Um, I mean, it's been a while since they Matco, but probably. Let's see. Oh, yeah, those are old, old ones. <laughs> yes. From uh, a year ago, at least. Yeah, these are the leather ones. They're yours. Like these ones. There you go. Bring back. I'm mm -hmm. surprised they're around still. Right? And then we clean you out. <laughs> and it's like Matco stuff is always less. It's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these are the only leather face gloves that I like that would hold up good for working on like heavy duty stuff. She got these gloves that are in the top of that thing, but yeah. whatever you want me to use. Oh, yeah, I got these ones here, I got these type here. There's some brand new ones of these over there. I never heard of this brand, that's the cheaper. Like a whole pack of 10 of them was like six or seven bucks. So. I'll just use mine, it's cool. Got some good leather ones in here as well. Yeah. Yeah, those are just basically like Matco ones I have. Yeah. Just once they start soaking the oil up and stuff, they look like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so these used to be tan and now they're black? Yeah, they used to be tan. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Okay, so, no, I thought those were black. No, no. That's the... Uh, oh, I just knocked... You definitely don't want to hit that.
do the whole length of it. Just to where I want to cover up the parts that we had soldered at least, you know. Okay. So no wires are popping out anywhere. It's a little thicker on those points, you know. So we had to put the heat shrink around it and everything in the solder. And so I just want to make sure it's all going to stay where it should. Get this back on now. So this will figure out where we're going to mount it after. There are two grounds. We can go ahead and bolt back down. We can loom those two. Is that the nut you were talking about that you grabbed mm -hmm. the first time and yep. it works? Worked perfect. That's so, and then I found where is it? The clip that was originally holding the wiring harness in. Let's cut the old zip tie off and ran a new one through it. We can still use it and zip tie our harness back up. Ah, sweet. And it covers just like a little cap for the ground there. So. Just helps from these wires rattling, you won't hear this. Yeah, and it'll be it'll just hold everything in place, so it won't be rubbing or anything like that. Perfect. Want that man? We want to loom this up. We can too. Which we will make it match everything else. Yeah, no, it's okay. This is how we're doing the top of the fuel hanger for the feed. Thanks for sticking around this long if you made it. See you next time.